Hey y'all! Welcome back to my channel. I am Jacqueline Renee. If this is your first time ever viewing any one of my videos, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. So I have another nursing home chronicles for you guys. But this is also gonna be like a mugmon situation because um I'm on my lunch break. I have some baked fish here that I did at home this morning and broccoli with the boiled egg. I know this is a little weird. Boiled egg. It has seasoning and stuff in it. And um, my cup. Woo. So, Nursing Home Chronicles. I did some makeup today too, y'all. Two days in a row. I'm doing good. <laughs> All right. Nursing Home Chronicles. Today, I'm with a 26-year-old female. So, the nursing home is just not for older people. Um, unfortunately, us young people are making our way into the nursing home. Yeah, it is a break room in the building. But I don't like going to the break room. Because the break room is nasty. And it's hot in that building. So I have to come to the car to eat. And to get air. Ain't that sad? But anyway. She's a 26 year old female. Of course, I will not be telling you any um, names or anything like that. HIPAA, whatever. So, um, the reason why she's in the nursing home is because she's 500 pounds. And her family cannot care for her no longer at home. Which is really sad. Because she's only 26 years old. So, she's bed bound. And it makes me think of that show, My 600 Pound Life. I can't do it. That's why <laughs> your girl is eating baked fish and broccoli. No rice, no bread, no pasta, no... Girl, we got to drop this weight. For real. She's mobile. She can move around in the bed. Like, if you need to clean her, she can help you. But she's 26 years old with a, a with a a diaper on. I mean, I know we're supposed to call him a brief, but it's a diaper. And um, my thing: How did she get like that? How did she get like that? Mm, then. When I got here today, and they told me that the family wanted to meet me and inquire about my services that I offer, I go in there and there's um, a guy in there with her. <clears throat> so I thought the guy was like a brother, uncle, something like that. No. He's the boyfriend. They was actually in an argument when I walked in the room. Because he's mad because she's in here. And she has a trach. If you don't know what a trach is, it's um, a mechanism that they put in your throat to basically help you breathe. Make your um, lungs contract like they're supposed to. Because without the trach, your lungs wouldn't contract like they're supposed to. And I'm thinking she has a trick like that because of all the fat. I don't know how long she has had it, but hey, it is what it is. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, she's a diabetic. 
she doesn't um she don't do anything I couldn't picture being 26 years old 500 something pounds I can't do anything for myself she has an um, iPhone which uh, whoever pays for that she has an iPhone and she has a laptop. I guess that's her way of, you know, keeping up with the times. And then her boyfriend bought her a 10 piece chicken. 10 piece chicken. Because it's a church's chicken right across the street from this facility. 10 piece chicken. Well, thing, a big thing of mashed potatoes, fried okra, and some biscuits. And she sat there and ate almost all the chicken. I know he got two pieces of the chicken. But I think she ate the rest of it. I cannot. You know, yesterday was the first day I had, like, fried food since I've been on my journey. And, uh, I had two pieces of, um, church of chicken yesterday. My stomach did not like it. Ow. So, I know I can't eat that. Uh oh. And for her to sit up there and eat eight pieces of chicken by herself, and then the mashed potatoes and the fried okra, baby, whenever that come out, I hope I'm not here. I just can't. I can't. I just can't picture myself being 500 something pounds. I hope y'all heard me. My air was on. I'm sorry. But I can't picture myself being 500 pounds. I like to do things. I like to go. I can't be bed bound. I can't. And she has a brother that's around her age. He came to visit and um she's in a big bed like a really big bed because to try and make her comfortable and hold her weight she's in a really big bed and the brother comes and just lays <laughs> right across the foot of her bed I guess they're kind of used to doing it <laughs> this guy has to be like 6 feet I'm maybe 5'11". And his whole body fits across the bed. Yeah, I can't do it. When they gave me the assignment, I was like, um, she's 500 pounds. They kind of went fast past that. <clears throat> I was like, she's what? I make this a little spicy. But I said, she's what? 500 pounds. Mm. Okay, I mean, I'm used to dealing with, you know, larger people anyway, so it wasn't a big deal, but not 26 years old. No. That was the first for me. The first. Now that I'm sitting and thinking about it, how do they shower her? Because she can't go in the shower room. They just bed bath for her all the time. I mean, she doesn't sing. 
She looks well kept. Um, I know she was at home at first, and then something happened, and they had to um, have her in the hospital. She was in the hospital a couple of days, a couple of weeks. And now she's in the nursing home. But she looks well kept. I guess the boyfriend is doing it, I guess. And then um, the boyfriend is some kind of uh, construction worker. But he looks old. I don't know how old he is, but he looks old. I don't know, y'all. I can't do it. I know there are men out there that love full-figure women. And for some reason, I am considered a full-figure woman. I don't think I'm a full-figure woman. I think I'm pleasantly plumped. That's what I think. But, you know, whatever. Um... I know African men. African men love big women. But anyways. I really don't see why they're together. I mean, I don't see the connection. Like some people, you know, you can tell. Maybe a hobby connects them together or something. Something connects them together. I don't see it right now. I'm, 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 I'm questioning. Because she can talk. She can talk. I can understand her. If she covers up her trach, she has a voice. But other than that, like, she lips talk, but she's used to it. So, she know how to get her, her words across with lip talking. But, um, I haven't had to change her yet. But when I do... I don't know. Okay, this is going to sound weird, but I just thought of it. What is the boyfriend getting out of the, the relationship? Are they having sex? Like, these are, I need to know. I don't need to be surprised one day coming in now. How do you ask a family that if their loved one is having sex? State of Texas, if two older people in a nursing home is having consensual sex, as long as they're like in their right mind and they can make that decision or whatever, you can't stop them. By law, you cannot stop them from intercourse. I'm eating my egg later. Um, you can't stop them from intercourse. So now I'm thinking, I'm wondering. Oh, I'm changing my pocket. No, sometimes I just have changed in my pocket. I don't know. But she's a diabetic and um man, I hope that they can do something for her to help her. She's supposed to be here for physical therapy. So hopefully they're trying to get her back to like walking and um something to help her get some exercise to lose some type of weight. <coughs> I just wonder how do people let themselves get that far? Like you know when you need to cut back, watch what you're eating exercise you know maybe um seek professional help for as uh weight loss surgery and all that i don't want to have weight loss surgery i don't that's why i am trying to contain my beast right now because i don't want weight loss weight loss surgery I don't want nobody cutting on me. I don't. I don't want nobody cutting on me. But that is the nursing home chronicle. Um, younger people are making it into the nursing home. 
And um, I've never had to deal with someone one-on-one -on -one that's been this large and so young. Normally, they're, they are older and normally they have had a stroke of something, a stroke or a heart attack or something like that. Um, but I was just shocked to see that, you know, she was 26 years old and she's like 500 plus pounds. It's crazy. The life we live, though. The life we live. So I thank you guys for watching this short um, Nursing Home Chronicle. And um, I might be bringing more of these stories as they happen. Because I think I'm going to be coming here a little more often than what I'm, I used to come here. I normally come when somebody books me. And it's like every other weekend or something like that. But since my services are getting out there amongst like different um, families and the social workers kind of helping um, get my name out there. More people are calling for my services. So I might be at this nursing home a little longer. And I have one other nursing home that I, I go to. Sometime. I don't go to that nursing home as much as I go to this one. So, um, I will bring you more stories. Because I know you guys love these stories. So, thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. So, you are notified every time I upload a video. And, um, I upload a video every Wednesday. <clears throat> sometimes you get bonus videos like this is a bonus and um i will see you guys in my next one bye guys